first off, Guten Morgen from beautiful Switzerland and a huge shout out to the staff here at uh, Fiest Birkenhaus. Birkenhaus? Birkenhaus. Birkenhaus. House. <laughs> house. House. Uh, so we went out last night, which was in the last video for sunset. We didn't get back until about 10.30, so we missed dinner. What they did was they brought us down dinner, dessert, salad, and a microwave to heat it up in and just left it outside of the room for us when we got home. So they are the true heroes of this trip. And uh, now we are here just pretty much stepping outside our mountain hut and check out this absolutely beautiful glow. Oh, this is glorious. So we can probably shoot from like the restaurant right up here or just kind of walk around. We're not gonna go very far this morning and just, we got some color in the sky back here already. So we are going to find a spot and set up and take some shots of this beautiful view. So my tripod is kind of not in a very good position. It's not level, uh, so I'm gonna have to kind of be careful when I do this panel. But if I had the um, tripod set up normally, it's kind of too far back. And what happens is this rail gets in the way. What I want here is this fence as a leading line. I want this mountain, kind of this little mountain hut here as part of the foreground right in the center. And then a big, uh, a big panel here Chris was out there on that first walk and that just it looks amazing. So I'm gonna take this shot here real quick. Chris went down below uh, where we were at yesterday watching, um, watching the hang gliders or the paragliders. I'm not sure which one it is or what that's called, but uh, we were watching that all day yesterday down there. So I'm gonna take this shot here. It's probably gonna be about a six shot panel while I got this kind of pre uh, alpen glow on these beautiful mountains and then I'm gonna move around a little bit and see if we can get probably four or five shots today. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking, uh, making sure my, my tripod or making sure my camera is level after each shot. Um, but what I'm doing is, is I'm bracketing. So I'm taking two separate shots, one for the sky, one for the foreground. And uh, I'm gonna probably have to, have to exposure blend them later on in post-processing because it's a little bright on the left-hand side. So uh, just to make sure I get all the details in the shadows here, I'm, I'm just, just in case, I don't think I'm gonna need them, but just in case I am gonna bracket, I'm taking two different shots. These colors are absolutely beautiful got that just alpen glow and what this is called over here that color when it's kind of transitioning from like dark night blue to like a pinkish and then that light blue it's I believe it's called the belt of Venus so oh man look at this place all right so we're walking on the end of cliff walk here I want to show you guys what this place looks like this is that famous spot I'm sure you guys have seen it on social media there's uh, always people out here and right now because the tourists don't start coming in till like after nine o'clock and it's about 5.30 right now that we're the only ones out here. So this is that famous cliff walk that everybody does. I don't know if it's a good place to take photos from just because it's very, um, it's kind of like it moves. So we have to be completely still, but look at this place. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, just hanging out here. We got a giant waterfall right down here. So last night for sunset, which was the last video you guys watched, we were right up there, uh, up in those mountains right there and uh, had a, just a beautiful, Chris found that beautiful reflection spot. Uh, just, oh, this place I can't even tell you guys in words. 
All right, guys, now it's time to <laughs> kind of rush. We have some beautiful Alpen glow already on the mountains. I'm gonna show you guys here. So the light is really good. I gotta kind of hurry and get down off of this uh, hotel balcony. I wanna get down into the grass where Chris is at. There's some wildflowers down there, so I wanna get this shot, so I gotta hurry. <laughs> All right guys, so what I'm doing here is I am focus stacking, but I'm doing it manually, uh, manual focus. I'm zooming in on these little flowers here and uh, taking a shot, moving my focus point a little bit further, manually focusing, taking another shot. And I've got, uh, so far I think five shots just for this foreground of flowers leading out, and then one shot for the background uh, for the peak. And uh, I think it's gonna be, look, I think it's gonna look super nice. You got all these wildflowers in the, leading up to the peak of Schneidelhorn there and uh, uh, we're getting some beautiful glow up on these mountains here what a beautiful morning what a beautiful way to start the day and let's go up and see what Chris is doing <laughs> Alright guys, we are going to end this video like we did the last one and another big shout out to the hotel staff at Berggasthof Fürst. <laughs> yes, it it means like mountain uh, guest house. Mountain Fürst. guest house, yes. It's the, it's the mountain hut up there on top of Fürst. It is just, like I said, them putting out that microwave and our dinner last night was just was such amazing. a huge, yeah, such yeah. a huge lifesaver. So yeah. thank you to you guys so much. Yes, if you guys want to shoot sunrise, sunset, and maybe even some astrophotography out here, the best bet is to stay in the mountain house and mm -hmm. the mountain huts because... Uh, because of the times of the cable cars, you can't get out here for sunrise and sunset for the most part, especially during summer. Mm -hmm. So yes, definitely look into that. It's such a beautiful way. Plus having that first cliff walk um, area all to yourself, there's nobody else out there. I think yeah. there was maybe like three other guests at the mm -hmm. hotel today. Oh, it was perfect. So mm -hmm. the next time Chris and I will be together will be next month in Iceland. So it'll be mid-July. We will be there for about four days total. Uh, we're going to head to the East Fjords, I think. So stay tuned for that, guys. I will have a couple more videos out after this one. So just kind of get us through those couple of weeks in between when Chris and I are back together again in Iceland. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.